Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's talk about military tactics, discipline, and defensiveness in EU4. Military tactics is something that you gain by having increased military technology. It's a very simple modifier. Military tactics reduces the damage that you take in combat. The higher it is, the better. What this is designed to do is cause there to be a significant difference in, in combat when one person has a, a tactical advantage from technology. Having increased military tactics by even just one small amount can make a huge difference in the event in the outcome of combat. Discipline is tactics, leadership, morale, and equipment were all important in battles. However, so too was the discipline of troops. Steady troops could hold their formation despite the punishment of the enemy um, would prove more effective in combat. Damage done is multiplied by your discipline, and damage taken is reduced or increased depending on your discipline. So if you have a positive discipline score, you end up doing more damage and taking less damage. This is increased by things like ideas. If you take, say, some of the quality ideas, you'll get things like increased combat abilities and also discipline plus 15 percent. So a quality army is going to be very, very powerful compared to an army that has no quality or has no, no increases to discipline. There are also some advisors that will increase things like discipline. I don't believe I have any in this in this playthrough, but you can you can increase your discipline that way as well. Defensiveness is a number that is increased by your prestige. This impacts how long you will have between ticks in a siege. The higher your defensiveness, the better. It also increases the damage done by our garrison when we're assaulted. So if you are looking at the defensiveness of the garrison, you have a fort level which is determined by how many upgraded structures there are, how many forts, fort upgrades have been purchased, but you also have this defensiveness number, which is mostly impacted by prestige. You get plus, as much as plus 10% if you have 100 prestige. This increases how long it takes for enemies to siege your territory, and it will also increase the amount of, again, like it said, how much damage they take if they decide to assault. Generally, they're not going to assault, or they shouldn't, because it's a bad idea. There are some advisors that will increase your defensiveness. There's one that will give you plus 25% increased defense. Again, I don't think we have him in this. There are also buildings that you can purchase that will do it, and also ideas that can increase your defensiveness. Can't recall which one it is off the top of my head. Tradition, morale, fort defense, plus 33%. That increases your defensiveness. So, those are how those three stats work in this game. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again in the next video. See you soon.